populations are choosing our flash-based web browser-driven video web conferencing platform. First of all, once you've signed up to an, for an account, we'll email you your username and password. And then what you need to do is set up your room. This just takes a few moments. So first of all, visit the members area, which is our gateway. Enter your password, username and password correctly. This is case sensitive, so if there's any capitals or any lower case, please use them appropriately. Okay, the first screen will show you the over overview of your settings. So if you'd like to scroll down, you'll see your account statistics there, how many moderators have been um, added to your account. And in this case, there's one. I've already added one. We scroll to the lower end of the screen. You'll see your default conference room link. If you click this, it will activate your room uh, in another browser. Be sure to use the Flash link and not the download link over here. This is our older product. It's an .exe file. Don't use that. Use the Flash room. As you can see here, whilst we're on this screen, private means you've added a password. You can add and change and edit passwords at any time for each meeting if need be. We'll go there now and show you how to do this. Clicking My Room Settings, you can nominate a name for your room. In this case, it's Anthony. My password name is Password, and you can add a welcome description here if you wish, your home page URL that you want your room to default to, add this here. Uh, if you have branding options turned on, that's where you add them there, uh, and your closing page. Once the conference room is closed, your uh, student or your guest will be referred to your closing page. Be sure to use the update button if you've make any, made any edits or changes. Your ban list. This will list any IPs that you have banned uh, whilst conferencing. You can delete them um, or leave them there permanently to, to ensure these people don't enter your room again. When you first get your account, the first thing you need to do also is to add your moderator details so that you have full functionality of your room. Uh, each person needs to have their own independent moderator username and password, and this is where you add them. As you can see, I'm already listed here, Anthony Husking. That is my username, and that is my password. To add a new moderator, click Add New Moderator, and add th that individual, Joe Smith, uh, smith at it.com, and you can nominate the uh, disable functions in this list here by just tagging the ones that you want and hit OK. Alright, so now you have two moderators uh, that can access your conference room with full features.